right. So they they call snatchers. So they call them snatchers assassins so they can do their thing. So they can they got yeah they can manipulate the other. No, there's no dispute about this. I asked for a funny, I was reading the numbers like a couple weeks ago too. Are you saying 3 3 3? Yeah, because yeah. when there's 1 3, it means something. When there's 3 3, it means something. Like 1 7 means uh, perfect or completion. There's some musicians do But when 3 7s, it means something. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that a lot. Yeah, I've seen, seen that a lot too. Yeah. You see a lot of 4 4 4, 7 7 7. Yeah, I've seen a lot of 7 7 7. Yeah, yeah. What would that mean? If you say that four 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 a lot, that's uh, a good number. It, sometimes it could mean it could mean forgiveness. You know. But uh, in the day, you don't get too bugged out on numbers. Right, so. right. But the, it, be like, uh, but the, the thing is, is, the Lord do see you. Signs. Yeah, yeah. There's signs, yeah, yeah, there signs sign. but you can't speak to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody ain't you have, don't have a spiritual eye, so he's pretty much something you should keep to yourself. Unless you have other brothers to believe. Yeah, because these devils they do use numerology and the symbolism. I mean, the 33rd degree of Freemasonry. Maybe it's connected to that. You know what I mean? I don't really know. It all depends on what that devil had in his mind when he came up with it. You know what I mean? You can imagine. You can imagine. Yeah, it, you're going to be like Jim Perry off the movie number 23. You're going to be just going into scripture and going to pray. That's why, that's why when we used to, before we was in the truth, we used to study Illuminati. Before you know, you'd be, you'd be in the Illuminati. You don't even know. They actually, the number 23, they actually use that number. You know? Michael Jordan, talk, my All right, yeah. Michael Jordan and LeBron. And Michael Jordan played for the Bulls. The Bulls, that's the devil, Moloch. Because you know why the devil has horns, right? Because I go back to the bull god. That's like when the when Moses went up to Mount Sinai to get the law, he came back down and Israel done made a goddamn golden bull. And that's why you see the devil with horns. Can go back to the ancient world? And they would back in the ancient world, they would actually have a giant uh, uh, golden bull or whatever they make. They make it out of brass. They'd have one out of brass to a giant one, and, and they would they'd have an oven inside it. They would cook the children inside the giant yeah, bull. Sure. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's yeah. Crazy. They still do that now, though. Yeah. They got it where they cook the children. Do they mention the size of the bull and on the Moses went up? No, nah, well, that was just the golden calf, though. That's what I meant. Did they mention the size of it? I don't know that it's good. Nah, But you know it was huge. Had it been. Yeah, gold was heavy, man. Yeah, gold is heavy. Yeah. And then, but look, then Moses, he was so... That was sure just fine, man. Yeah. You know where that's at? You know where this was? It's going to be like Exodus 18, 19, somewhere around there. This is Micah 2 and 1. Go to them that devise a victory and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their you know, upon their bed. That's the call for sex to, you know, wherever they do their thing. Now these devils wake up early, too. They wake up early. What's that? That isn't even a scripture that says no rest for the wicked. The, the wicked don't rest. They wake up at 4 in the morning, plotting on how they can further put you in slavery. When they go to sleep, they figure out how they're going to fuck you up. They don't want to go to sleep today. They're like, wasting time. Yeah, they're wasting time. And, and then our people, they out here lollygagging around like everything's all good. As long as you got ESPN, they good. Though. Look, your girl was talking shit, now she got a RoboCop leg. She was going season two? Oh, yeah. Look, oh, it's it's that's your girl, and she was talking shit. That's how the most hot works. He got you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's what happens when you run your mouth to a prophet. <laughs> That's funny as hell. That was like a... They ain't all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was out there one day the whole city came against her. She was one of them. Now the most high, she walked around with a goddamn cast on. Bitch. That's how the Lord works. Bitch. That's just a, That's just a sample. That's just one leg. You got another leg and two arms, fingers. Hey, there's a scripture in the Bible that said, uh, when it, well, this is going way off topic. But when Israel conquered, uh, in the book of uh, Joshua, they conquered, I think it was the Canaanites maybe, and they went there and captured the kings and chopped off both their thumbs and their big toes. Remember that scripture? So the Most High is gruesome, bro. Hey, we could do that in the kingdom. We're gonna take our enemies, chop off their thumbs and big toes, 
see how you see how funny your ass be walking with all their fingers. <laughs> how you gonna walk with no big toe? You be walking all messed up. And you still have to reach forward. All right. <laughs> yeah. You can't even pick no cock with no thumbs. You like. Roll your ass. <laughs> hey, but we got power. We can make the thumb grow back and cut it off again. First two, and they cover the fields and take them by violence in houses. And uh, how, take them away. how was America founded? America was founded through violence. They came over here, they took fields through violence. Slaughtered the North American Indians. Took everything through violence, through acts of deception. How many treaties did they sign with the North American Indians? Signed hundreds of treaties. 300 some treaties broke every last treaty. They about to break the one with our brain. And you all got the nerve to say, God bless America. The fuck America. The hell is some goddamn America? The fuck they get that shit from? Goddamn kingdom of Satan. This is a satanic country. This country is founded upon uh, deception, founded upon devil worship. And they so good at it, they teach you in the history, but they make it sound so good. Yeah, they like, we killed all the Indians, but that was for us. <laughs> nah, I didn't read that. They had it coming. And then y'all got the nerve to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was some Thanksgiving. What's that one that says? I hope y'all choke on a chicken uh, turkey bone. Oh, Aaron, no, that was what is it? No rest for the wicked. This is on. I know. I don't listen to the song. Hold up. No, it might be one of the new testaments. Let me look. It's in the songs. I ain't got that one memorized. Uh oh. Verse three. Therefore, thus saith the Lord: Behold. Against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye unhaughtily, for this time is evil. So them evil... Them, oh, go ahead, go ahead. You got it. You got something to say? Right, go ahead, go ahead. All them evil days is coming. Y'all gonna see those evil days. What y'all gonna do when the economy collapses? And soon they gonna... When the economy collapses, soon they gonna start microchipping everybody. Soon you won't be able to get on a Coda bus without a microchip. You won't be able to buy groceries at uh, Kroger without a microchip. You won't be able to get Medicare, Medicaid without a microchip. Yeah, you can't even get in your own house. Yeah, you can't get in your house. You can't start a car without a microchip. You can be able to walk on the street freely. You're going to be arrested nope. if you don't got the microchip. The scriptures say, no, who, uh, that's the mark of the beast. It's going to be a criminal if you don't have a chip. Yep. It's going to be a, yeah, right, it's gonna be a law to have a chip, just like it's a law. It's already a law. You got to have a social security number, because according to the government, you ain't nothing but a a, a number. You you just another uh, part of the herd, the cattle. You cattle. They just said recently they want to switch to. already about to put in a new. Uh, about to put in a new system anyway. So who knows what that system can be doing? Oh, uh, you see, they already got the chip in place. They getting you uh, ready with the terminology. And the credit card machines, you, they always be like, Does your, do you guys take the chip? That's what you be asking. Like, oh, we take the chip. So, so they getting you used to that terminology. You all got the chip. Now, soon, everybody going to have the chip. Only people who's not going to take the chip is the elect. Okay? The Lord, the Lord going to gonna protect a small percentage of Israel. From that market of beasts, and we're not gonna take it. Hey, get that market of beasts scripture, bro. We gotta go into this. Give me the uh, uh, all the mark scripture. You definitely got to get that. 14. Yeah, 14. Definitely get that one. We get both of them. 14, 15. You get 13, you get 14. You know what 14 is at? This is that angel that's coming, man. That's some evil. And you see it coming. That's why there's just a news report. It just came out in the news that they're suggesting that all the athletes take the microchip so they can detect if uh, they're uh, on steroids or not. Because they have a big problem with steroids, the UFC, the NFL, all these sports. So, But with that microchip, 
they can detect uh, what's in your bloodstream. If you got drugs in you, they, that's complete control right there. You know, all the Columbus cops are getting microchipped. The military is getting microchipped. And soon they're going to microchip all y'all. And if you take that microchip, the Lord's going to destroy you. They said the yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, big to stay makes you stronger. Don't you want to be bigger and stronger? Hey, some guys don't need steroids. They're natural freaks. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. He call, and he calls all, both small and great. He causes all, both small and great. Go ahead. Rich and poor. Rich and poor, so everybody. From the president on down to the uh, to the most raggediest homeless person. Go ahead. Free and bond. Free and bond. That means because we're not free, we're actually bondmen. If you're an employee, you're a bondman. Okay, you're a servant. And, and you got something in America called the service industry. You work in the service industry industry because you're a servant. You serving other people drinks that you think you're free. You pouring someone a drink that you're free, right? Okay. You see, these people, their minds have been so fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, Go. <laughs> yep. uh, receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that's where they put in the microchip, too. They put it in the hand. But they also got uh, brain microchips. Uh, they got microchips they put in your brain so you can get on the internet through your brain. Go ahead. They started off with the animals. Then the first family that took the chip got destroyed. They yep. got in a car accident like a couple of months later. Oh, no, they, they actually ha had the microchip in themselves, actually. That wasn't yeah. even the, the animals. Yeah, because, right, first they... Because they, it's a law in the United Kingdom but all animals have the chip. Yeah. In, a, in a Ohio, there's a law that if you have an exotic pet, it has yeah. to be chipped. I do have to get an alligator chip. Who the fuck got a pet alligator? <laughs> Why would you have an alligator? Everybody, you, uh, I'm, I'm terrified of alligators, bro. I ain't nowhere near no alligators. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell. So all your drug dealers going to be out of business. <laughs> oh, yeah. How you going to sell drugs? That's a good point. Because there's going to be no more cash. So any, any transaction has to be monitored and tracked. So that's going, yeah, that's going to mess up the drug, uh, the the black market. They, they lodged on this you, shit. They're going to have to barter to sell drugs. That's crazy. They're going to have to barter. They're going to be bartering, underground bartering. Because the Lord going to have to find a way for us to eat. And going to, we're going to find a way to eat when we barter. Tra yeah, the Lord going to, he'll, he found a way for Israel to eat in the wilderness. Gave him manna from heaven. If y'all don't believe in that, I don't give a fuck because, you know. And the most high is crazy. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast. For it's the number of a man. And his number is 603 scores and six. Hey, hey, let me get that. Hey. Let me see that real quick. Let me put this on camera. Because if you look at the... If you look at the barcode, the barcode has a 666 on it. The, the, the outer bars, the two outer bars on the left and right, and the center bar, all uh, are sixes in the barcode language. I don't know if you can see, I'll put it on here too. You can see that. So, that's it. You know, so the barcode is already has a 666 integrated into it. Oh, you got the other ones? You got the uh. They're not hard to recognize. Revelation 14 and 9. The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and the Jesus mark in his forehead, 
So if anybody receives that mark in their forehead or their hand, meaning that microchip, if you take that microchip, go ahead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out with all mixture into the cup of this indignation. He shall, oh, so like you. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the oh. holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You're going to eat missiles. In other words, you're going to eat missiles. You're going to eat missiles. When those missiles hit, you're going to... So, yep. The smoke of their torment is sending up forever and ever. They have no rest day nor night. The worship the beast in this image. Who serve and receive the mark of the name. Here's the paper. The paper. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and the faith behind God. Right, I gotta switch my camera. Right. And actually, I'm gonna use my phone.